Hi everybody, it's Wendy Lee. Welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to do a little project share with you and show you what I'm sending to my swap partner in our paper art swaps group. This is a Facebook group where there's multiple swaps a month and they range from all different sorts of um, project types. And this particular project was a charm box swap. Um, I will link the group below and um, yeah, it's a really fun group. I would suggest you check it out. It's a really um, fun group of women so far. I don't think we have any men in the group yet. And um, let's get started. So what we had to do was we had to do about 20 to 25 charms. And you couldn't do more than two of the same charm. Um, unless, of course, you're sending more than 20 to 25 charms. So, um, And then we had to decorate the box that we were sending it in. And so I'm going to share with you what I'm sending my swap partner. We also agreed to do a little bit more than just the charms because um, she had posted these really cute things from the Dollar Tree. It was like a nautical, um, some nautical items. And I just love them and I couldn't find them anywhere. And she's like, I'll send you some. And then I'm like, okay, I'll send you some Daiso things. And so we're doing a little bit extra. And then, of course, you know I'm extra and I can never just send what I'm supposed to send. So anyway, I'm going to save the charm box for last. I'm going to show you like all the little extra goodies I'm sending her. So first up is this little um, shaker mix that I made out of polymer clay. So it is like little sprinkles and then let me pour it out in my hand and then it also has like little white stars in it so I'm sending her a cute little container of that let me put it back in and um what I did was this little container came from the Dollar Tree and I just put a jewel on it from um Paper Studio from Hobby Lobby so just, you know, zhuzhed it up a little bit. So there's that. And then I'm sending her, if you guys saw my Cartwright sequence haul, that massive haul I did, you saw that I accidentally got like three big bags of sequins. I don't even know how I did that. I don't know if they gave it to me for free or if I accidentally ordered it. Um, but I'm sending her some overflow of that. That's a really pretty like red one. Same thing with the little Dollar Tree uh, container. And then also I'm sharing with her some bottle cap um, supplies. So what these are is they're different colored bottle caps and you can just punch a hole in them, make a charm. Like you can put like an image there. And then what you do is you see I'm sending her a bunch of different colors and then I'm also sending her a sheet of stickers. And then what you do is you just put the sticker over the image. So there's that. Then I'm also sending her this cute little box, which I will unwrap, which has this really pretty trim on it that I think I got from Hobby Lobby. And inside the box are some um, polymer clay beads that I made. So they're just pretty spring colored heart beads that I made in different colors so there's pink and green and purple and blue and yellow and then let's see what else then she says that she likes jewel tones and she likes glass beads so i uh took one of these little mini gumball machines that i got from um Amazon and I'll link it below. I'll try to link whatever I can below and I filled it up with um, jewel toned glass beads and some acrylic beads and then I glued a bow on it. So there's that. Then I'm sending her a lotion from Bath and Body Works. It's in the um, scent almond. It's just a nice smelling lotion and then I'm sending her a little bag of Hello Kitty bags a bag of Hello Kitty bags <laughs> um these are from Daiso yeah these are from Daiso and then I'm also sending her some stickers from Daiso these are a bunch of different colored pretty cherry blossoms and I'm sending her this I love these look at the colors of these are so pretty these are also from Daiso and there's little pom-poms with 
um, little like rainbowy iridescent, I don't know what you would call them, like spikes coming out of them. Uh, and I also got her picked up these pretty pastel clips that she can just like put charms on. These also came from Daiso. And then you cannot go to Daiso and not get Haichu. So I'm sending her a bag of Haichu. And also I'm sending her two of these so that she can make her own charms out of them. Um, you can make heart charms. I've seen butter people do butterflies. I've seen a star. And if she doesn't want to do that, she can just use them for her hair or if she has any daughters or nieces or what have you. Then I am sending her this little um, box, I guess you would call it, of beads that are pretty. These would be really pretty on like a mermaid project. And this really cute, I couldn't fit this in the charm box, which I'm about to show you next, but I couldn't fit this in. But it's a really cute shaker turtle. You can see it's got like a little hole there so you can put like a jump ring and just put it on something and then here is the box that I altered now I I know a lot of people will like glue their stuff directly onto their box which I love and I think is so pretty but this box when I show it to you it is just so pretty that I could not bring myself to glue anything or stick anything to it so what I did was I took some ephemera from Rosie's studio and I decorated the front of some paper and what I did with the paper is I put um, Velcro and I Velcroed it on and so what I did was I just took a corner punch and punched the corners and then you just open it up like that and then here's the box and it's just like such a pretty like milky pink pastel color so can you see why I did not want to alter this? I did not want to glue anything on it because I thought at least, you know, she has the cover and it's decorated if she wants, but otherwise she can take it off and just look at the pretty box. It's totally up to her. So at least she has options. So let me open this up and I'll show you some of the charms I sent her. So these first ones, I had posted these first ones on Amazon a while, I don't know, like last week or the week before. These were just some little um, dangles that I had made out of Hishi beads. And um, yeah, so there's those. And then I'm also sending her these really cute cabochons that I glued bales onto. And let's see. Maybe it's better if I hold the box up while I show it to you. It's hard because I'm looking through my camera. And then there's this really pretty charm with the tassel. And these. I love that blue color. And these. Connectors. These are connector charms because they have a hole on each side. Then I'm sending her a few of these beautiful flat backs that she can glue onto projects. Oops, sorry guys. It's hard to do this when you're like looking through the camera. So there's those. And then I wire wrapped some beads. So I wire wrapped these purple beads. Aren't they so pretty? I love those colors. And then I also wire wrapped this bow. This bow is hard to wire wrap because where everything sits, it's really hard to get the wire through the hole, like wrapped around. So there's that. And then let me pull these out and put them in my hand because they're kind of small. This is kind of like a little mis mishmash of things right here. So I'm sending her two of these really cute happy birthday charms that she can you know, maybe do something for somebody when it's their birthday. And this really pretty caged um, gem. So you can see there's a gem in there, but it doesn't come out. And then these, um, these charms. So this one's like a milky crystal, a black, and a clear. And then two of these little itty bitties. And then two of these. Then I'm sending her a bunch of these little ball chains. 
that she can just like put some charms on and then she can like hook them onto a planner or you know whatever put them on a tassel whatever she wants then I think this is the heart this is the heart tray and I'm sending her a bunch of little hearts so first we have this big caged heart and then just a bunch of cute little what do we have here a rose and this one says made with love And, oh, I already showed you the rose, made with love, so there's two of those. And then there's this one. And some little silver puffy hearts. And then this cute, ornate heart. And then the next one, we have some little um, resin charms. I think these are resin, or maybe some of them are acrylic and some are resin. So these really cute stars, they have holes in them so she can just put some jump rings in. And then the this super cute little bear. Oh my gosh, look at that gummy bear, it's so cute. And then this cookie that I just glued a plastic bale to. Then we have two really pretty resin hearts that already have um, whole head pins in them. And then two more of those pretty um, flat back gems. So she can just like glue them onto something. And then I also wire wrapped her a pink bead. I just love that pink flower bead. Look how pretty that is. So I wire wrapped her that. And then I'm sending her a bunch of these little itty bitty heart, heart charms. See if I can hold it up and show you what it looks like. So a bunch of those. Then I'm sending her one of these adorable unicorns. And a bunch of these little stars, pearl stars. And I have a whole little container that's kind of just like dedicated to Halloween and Christmas. So just to give you an example, like I'm probably not gonna show you all of them because they're like, look how many there are, you guys, there's a lot. So there's like star, fla star flakes, <laughs> snowflakes, and there's like a butcher knife <laughs> for Halloween and like a little pumpkin, oops, grab that. Little pumpkin. And there's, I love these like little vampire teeth and these little blackbirds, which are really cute. Um, cute little pink ghost. Let me see if I can hold that up. Um, like a witch's hat. There's some um, Christmas trees and like a Let's see what else. Oh, this cute little ghost. And then the rest are just kind of like doubles, um, except for I've got those little Christmas um, bells. Then let's see what else. Okay, so this little container is filled with um, mermaid stuff. Mermaid and like kind of like beachy, beachy themed stuff. So this one has like little mermaid scales. So I've got pink ones and you can see they've got like glitter in them, purple ones. So there's a couple of those and then a pretty white starfish and a couple mermaid tails and a couple sea turtles connectors. And I love, love, love these. Look how pretty these are, these mermaid scale charms. Those are so gorgeous. And then also I'm sending her a couple of mermaids, like a gold one and a silver one. Um, let's see, we got three more little sections to go. Then I'm sending her, I love cactuses. I actually have an Etsy store called Cactus and Coral because I love cactuses. I love the ocean and the sea, so cactus and coral. 
Um, I should say I love the desert and the sea, so cactus and coral. So I'm sending her some cute cactus charms. We've got these ones. And then we've got, let's see, we've got three different colors of these. Then we've got these ones, which they have their different colors. They've got the turquoise and pink, and then the green and pink, and then the blue and yellow. Then I'm sending her one of these big ones. Then the next one, I wire wrapped her another bead. And then I'm sending her a bunch of these pretty briolettes. They're faceted, so they're really shiny. And finally, this is kind of like the animals and critters uh, section. So I'm sending her this pretty horse and this bird. Let's see if I can hold it up so you can see it better. And then um, I'm sending her three of these cute Mickeys. I'm sending her a gold one, a bronze one, and a silver. Then I'm sending her a black and white swan and some little owls. And the rest are kind of like just duplicates of each other. So I'm sending her these really cute little owls. Yeah, so I think I got two more. Yeah, so that what that's going to be what I'm sending my swap partner for our charm box swap. I hope she loves it. Um, I'm going to, by the time I film this, she will have already received it because I don't want to put it out there before she gets it because I don't want her to see it because I know she subscribed to my channel. So hi, Terry. I hope you loved everything. <laughs> and I'm going to film a video when I receive your box. So I want to thank everybody so much for watching today. I hope you'll like and subscribe and just leave me a comment. Um, if I don't post a link to where, you know, to for you to find something, ask me. I don't know that I'll be able to post links for everything because some of the stuff I've had for a long time, some of it I get in downtown LA and they don't have websites. So, um, yeah, but maybe next time I go there, I can pick up extras for people or what have you. So anyway, that was it. I am so thankful for you watching today. I hope you have a wonderful day or evening wherever you are. Take care. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.